One of my favorite ways to select objects inside of Revit is to use the selection filter. Now, in order to be able to do that, really all you have to do is have a group of objects that are selected. So in this case, I'm just gonna click once, hold my mouse button down, and then move around here until I have this crossing window that goes around a whole bunch of my different items. Now that I've done that, we can utilize the selection filter. Now, the filter is actually this little thing that looks kind of like a funnel down here in the lower corner. Also, you can see the filter up here as well. Now, these are actually the exact same command. The only difference is that this one tells you how many items you have selected, while this one doesn't. And if you select on either this one or this one, I'm going to pick the one down here at the bottom, you can see that there's all these different items that have been selected. Now, the one that I'm going to select on is I want to have just my structural column selected. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on Check None. I'm going to put a little check next to Structural Columns. And by doing this, I'm going to filter out just those objects, which are my structural columns. I'm just eyeballing it here. I'm going to expect to see this one, this one, this one, and this one end up being highlighted. I'll click on OK to that. And we can see those are the four items. Those are my structural columns. And they were selected. So the thing to remember is, is in order to be able to use your selection filters, all you have to do is window around or just select on a group of different things and then filter out all those other results that you don't need by coming to the filter, clicking on it, and then just putting a check mark next to those things you want to have selected.